Hey, this is Connor Smith, and you're watching Celeb Secrets TV. So Celeb Secrets is hanging out here backstage at the iHeart Country Festival. We're at Connor Smith today. Here we are. Welcome. I'm excited to be here. Is this your first iHeart This is our, our first iHeart event, um, okay. and I didn't realize kind of how big of a deal this was. I mean, oh, yeah. we've gotten out here in a, at every phase. It's one of those things, you know, we've played those festivals, those 2 o'clock slots where you're in front of 10 people. It's kind of what I expected today, and then we got out there, and it was packed, so it was really cool. And it's crazy because it was so hot outside. It was so hot, but everybody showed up, and they are ready to party. Totally. Now, uh, are you excited to see everybody tonight? This yeah, is still yeah, a yeah. big lineup. I'm still fangirling a little bit. You okay. know, you get to go out there, and, uh, you know, of course, Thomas Red started off. We got to go out and watch him, and then, you know, Cody Johnson and Scotty and Carrie, all these people. It's, it's a really cool event. And like Zach Brown Band was just in here, and they're gonna be closing. They're gonna be closing the show. I mean, that's gonna be wild. I know. That's. I mean, I've never seen them live, and that's kind of a bucket list thing for me. So it's gonna be really cool. Totally, totally. Now let's talk about your music. I know you released an EP last year. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So um, got out my first collection of songs, and um, that was that was a really cool moment for me to kind of officially get to do that. And then um, you know it was really cool to see the reaction of it. I felt like this thing's been growing like every week. Every weekend we go out on the road, it feels bigger and bigger. Um, and that's it's just really cool for me and my band to kind of look around and be like, man, this is this has been a really special year. That's great. And I know you're going to be on tour with Thomas Rhett, right? Thomas Rhett and Parker McCollum oh uh, all summer long. It's funny. I met Parker for the first time on Thursday. Okay. I was working out at the gym and I was doing, I was like, you know, doing some bench press or something. Okay. And I look, turn around and it was Parker and I said, hey, Parker. I'm Connor Smith. We're going on tour together this summer. Goes, oh, great to meet you, man. So that was the first time that we got <laughs> oh to meet. Gosh. I just saw Thomas right after he got off uh, off stage uh, okay. today, and uh, you know he's he's like a big brother to me. So it's cool to see him. But yeah, it starts June 16th, so we're excited. You guys are gonna have a time. Oh my gosh! I yeah. mean, you couldn't be better people. I mean, my first legit like you know tour. true tour to you know take out this summer, and so uh, to have it with those two guys is pretty Absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. Are you working on any new music? Right we now? are. So okay. we uh, we're getting new songs coming out soon um, over this summer. I I think early June we'll get out the next song, nice. um, and then kind of spread them out throughout this year. There's a lot of lot lot, lot of new music to come okay. uh, till the end of this year that I'm excited about. And what are you writing about? Everything, everything. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's wild. Honestly, life life's changed so much. Absolutely. You, I mean, I put out that first collection, and, and my life's completely different just because, um, you know, people know these songs now, and, and now I'm traveling, and now we're gone. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm 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 in Nashville. You know, 10% of my time where you know. Yeah. So it's been wild, and it's been cool to have these new experiences to write about, and Absolutely. and and all that. Stuff. So I'm excited to kind of take uh, people on that journey with me. Totally, and that TikTok fame too. Look at that! I Come mean, on. it is funny. Like, uh, it, it, you know, I meet, I meet people all the time, and I'm like, how did you find my music? And like, half the time it's TikTok, which is so foreign because the amount of time I've put into TikTok in my life is is so small. Really? Uh, <laughs> but you know, there was one video we put up of I Hate Alabama that, yeah. um, and it was just me and my band just singing it. And uh, it goes viral, and then everybody uses the sound. And next thing you know, you have a viral hit on your hands. It's, it's wild. It's wild how how quick that happens. It's and you really do hate Alabama. I mean, I guess so. I mean, now I love them because they've made me famous, but <laughs> and they've helped my career. But um, but as a Tennessee fan, there's a. Oh, yeah, yeah. But the beauty of this song is it's not even about football, and I think that's why I wanted to record it and, and put it out. Was it's just kind of a brilliant country song. Absolutely. Do you maybe have any goals that you want to conquer or achieve this year? Absolutely. I think there's so many. I think. Uh, you know, get for me, uh, my whole life, I've always wanted to be a country songwriter and a country artist, and, and so now I get to live that dream and, I, and really start that journey. And so um, there's so many things with those first times, those first time on a tour bus, first time on, on a tour, first time of hearing your song on the radio. Yeah. Um, and so uh, continuing just to kind of build this thing the right way and put the right people around me and in, in my corner and, and write songs. And, and really the goal is just to kind of let fans and people see more who I am as an artist, as a writer, and as a person yeah, throughout this year. I love that. And we are still have secrets. I need to know if you have any like secrets or fun facts. <clears throat> That people wouldn't know. I mean, you're kind of like an open book. I there's am an be, open there's book. There's got to be something. I mean, there is there is something. I'm, okay. My favorite food is cucumbers. It's kind of a weird thing. I, I've never said that before, but I just wanted to let y'all know that. Um, Love that. And, uh, yeah, that's that's all. I mean, other than that, it's it's pretty open through okay. the music out there. Okay. Um, so you like getting vulnerable vulnerable with your music? I do. I mean, I think there's a power in it. Okay. Uh, I don't love it. Okay. I mean, I'm not I'm not that open, but uh, <laughs> it is fun to kind of, um, you know, there's, there's it is fun to kind of, I think songwriting is so therapeutic and Absolutely. so to get to kind of pour your heart out in, in songs is, is oh. a blast. And then to watch people relate to those songs, really cool. I love that. Well, Connor, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much for nice having me. Absolutely.